Okay, tell me about this boy. He has crutches. Okay. Tell me about this boy. Mm, he's fat. Okay, tell me about this one. He's, he has a broken hair. Okay, and this one. Mm -hmm. He's skinny. He's skinny. Africa, if you could have three of these children for your friends, which three would you want? Um, I want Just want hand me the cards that you want to be friends with. Okay. Alrighty, now, is there anybody else? Mm -mm. Okay, you wouldn't want to be, well, say you could be friends with two more of them. Which two would you want to be friends with? This one. Okay. And this one. Okay. Okay. Now, if you weren't friends with him, why would you not be friends? He's fat. He's fat. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Now, give me two more pictures. Who else would you want to be friends with? Okay. Who else would you? Okay. Look at that. Now, why would you not want to be his friend? Fat. Because he's fat? Okay, thank you very much. Of 24 children interviewed, 19 chose the obese child last. From an early age, we learn that fat is bad, fat is ugly, fat is unhealthy. We learn that being obese is a problem that can be eliminated with enough self-control and discipline. But leading researchers in the field have recently been finding that many of our old assumptions about the causes of obesity are false. Uh, right now, I'm very impressed with the role of genetics for various reasons. I think that uh, that's quite important, and I think it's been underestimated. And again, I have to qualify that by saying that it, it's not just uh, your genes are not your destiny. It, it depends on how you interact with the environment. But I think uh, the genetic tendency is so strong that um, in many people, it, it uh, uh, greatly overrides uh, the usual environmental constraints against obesity. And that that's, I would put that down as a terribly important uh, contributor. I don't think you can point to any psychological state or psychological uh, or emotional illness or mental illness that is a cause of obesity. I think that the psychological problems, emotional problems that you see in obese people is, is there an effect of being overweight, of being unaccepted, of being, uh, or at least certainly feeling unaccepted and, and not okay. And this is particularly true of children and, or people who've been o overweight as children. There's a constant sense of, of not being uh, adequate because of weight. Tell me something about this child. She doesn't have any legs. Right? Okay. What about this child? He's scratched. Mm-hmm. What about this child? He's fat. Okay. What about this one? No finger. No yeah. fingers. Okay. Amy, if you could be friends with three of these children, which three would you want to be friends with? You can just hand me the cards of those you want to be friends with. Okay. 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 Why would you not want to be his friend if you decided not to be? I don't know. The one with the scar? Okay. So, the one without the arm, okay. uh, the one with the crutches, and the one with the crutches. Okay. Now, if you decided not to be this child's friend, why would you not want to be his friend? He looks exactly like me.